Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a real nice trick that will help you find the value of k in just few seconds. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that the leading coefficients in all these trinomials are other than 1. And here is our very first example and it states find the value of k that makes the following trinomial a perfect square and here is our trinomial let's focus on the middle number the coefficient of x which is positive 2 let me just write down 2 right up here always divide that number by 2 that is going to give us 1 and then we are going to square whatever we got so 1 square is simply 1 and now let's focus on our leading coefficient which is 11. So whatever number we got we are going to divide by the leading coefficient 11. So we got 1 over 11 and our next step is here you can see we got negative k. So we are going to set negative k equal to whatever this number 1 over 11 that tells us that k is going to be simply negative 1 over 11 value so thus k equal to negative 1 over 11 is our final k value and here is our next example in this trinomial our middle number is negative 6 the coefficient of x is negative 6 we always divide this negative 6 by 2 that is going to give us negative 3 then we square that one that is going to be equal to 9 and now the next thing is just focus on the leading coefficient which is 15 we're going to divide this 9 by 15 all right and now here we're going to reduce 9 over 15 could be written as 3 fifth so 3 fifth we got and now next thing just keep in your mind that we got over here negative k so let's set negative k equal to 3 over 5 that means k is going to be simply negative 3 fifth so thus our k value turns out to be a negative 3 fifth. And here is our next example. Let's focus on this trinomial over here. Our middle number, the coefficient of x is positive 7. Let's divide that one by 2. And then we are going to square that one. That is going to give us 49 over 4. Now let's focus on our leading coefficient which is 9. We are going to divide this 49 over 4 by 9. Dividing by 9 is same as multiplying by 1 over 9. And once we multiply this thing we are going to get 49 over 30. 6 and next step is we see that we got negative k over here in this trinomial we set negative k equal to 49 over 36 that means k turns out to be simply negative 49 over 36 so thus our k value turns out to be a negative 49 over 36. And here is our final example. In this given trinomial, as you can see that our middle coefficient for x is missing. So by default, I'm going to just put a 1 over here. That becomes a negative 1. So I am going to put down this negative 1 right up here we always divide this one by 2 and then we are going to square that one that is going to give us positive 1 over 4 and our next step is let's focus on our coefficient of this x square which is our leading term so 1 fourth 
we're going to divide this one by 1 over 4. Dividing by 4 is same as multiplying by 1 fourth. So let's multiply this one out. That is going to give us 1 over 16. And now let's focus on our this negative k value over here. So I can set negative k equal to 1 over 16 that tells us that k is going to be simply negative 1 over 16. So thus our k value turns out to be negative 1 over 16 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.